happening. It's your boy Charm the Truckers Champ back in the building. Hey, today we're gonna talk about why I chose not to go to Central Transport. But first, we gotta roll that intro. The champ is here! The champ is here! The champ is here! All right, YouTube, so we back, back in the building. Uh, yeah, so though, for those of y'all that don't know, I recently went and got my hazmat endorsement, so I updated my resume on, on Indeed, right? And I've been getting messages from all these different companies wanting me to come drive for them. And, you know, unfortunately, none of them are the ones that I want to go drive for, Crossette. Anyways, uh, but anyways, one of those companies was Central Transport, and I actually gave it some thought. I was invited to an open house. Uh, which I haven't went to yet. Um, and I don't, I'm really not wanting to go just because of a lot of these reviews that I'm reading online. And I know some of you guys are going to say that, you know, a lot of these reviews are just disgruntled employees or ex-employees. They're mad about something else, something else. But, you know, from my experience, when you see these reviews and you start getting a lot of them that are the same, the exact same thing, and they're in different locations, that should tell you something. That's a huge red flag for me. But uh, I'm going to just go ahead and read some of these. Uh, this is on Indeed right here. Um, the first one says, always changing. It's two, two stars. I've worked with great people. And this is uh, from Pittsburgh, PA, so not too far from here. I worked with great people who worked hard but the micromanagement out of corporate made it impossible for anyone to get the job done effectively. And, you know, micromanagement will do, will have that effect. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Another two point or two stars depressing. And this guy is from, well, this person is a dock worker from Illinois. We're not, we're just going to skip over the dock workers and go straight for the drivers. Okay. We have, a truck driver from East Windsor, Connecticut gave him one star. It says, nine to five, no money, pay is low for LTO. We'll get into that here in a minute. Job is flexible, but pay sucks. You will pedal with a 53 foot trailer in places you shouldn't be with such a big truck. I mean, that's, and you're gonna get that a lot in local trucking. Um, there isn't any work, it's slow. Dispatcher, what? Okay. <laughs> Dispatcher isn't good, and the benefits aren't good either. The pay is good. I think he meant to say the pay isn't good. So, his pros were flexible. The cons were pay and benefits, right? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Another former driver says, another one star, poorly organized, unsafe equipment. Let's see, another one star. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Whatever they mean by that. They really ain't going into it. And, you know, that was just indeed. If we go to Glassdoor and see what they're talking about on Glassdoor, Glassdoor is giving them 2.9 stars out of five. Let me see. The reviews, highlight spots. Okay. Pros, time goes by really quick because you're always busy and the pay is good. They are good people and fun to work with, what I see. Cons, last but certainly not least, the benefits. No matter what vacation time you get, subtract six days right away. So if you get a week's vacation, they're not going to give you six days of that. That's what they're saying, pretty much. You're only going to get a day vacation. Um... Okay, so now let's get right down here to the driver reviews. Uh, he's, he said truck drover, but I think he meant to say truck driver. And this is from January of 2023 in Markham, Illinois. He gave him five stars. Pros, truck driving was laid back and easy. Cons, had to take orders from no one. Wouldn't that be a pro? <laughs> if you're your own, if you're your own boss, would not be a pro. Anyways, uh, another one, three three stars. Current employee says they are they are fine. Pros, paycheck always on time, no micromanaging. Cons, 
Little support, poor communication, terrible hours. Let me see. Four stars from Warren, Michigan. Pros, good pay and room for growth. Cons, overtime is often needed. And we have another four stars from, it doesn't say, it just says straightforward. Pros, mics. Pay good, home every night. I don't know what the mics part is about. Um, but okay. Cons, always in the shop for trailers. Okay. That's a dock worker. We're going to skip them. No offense. No offense to my dock workers out there. Uh, let's see. They're all pretty much positive on Glassdoor, but I think on Glassdoor, they can actually monitor some of their uh, some of their reviews. They can actually moderate them. Let's go to Trucker's Report. Trucker's Report gave them two stars out of five. For home time, it gave them two and a quarter stars, uh, actually two and a half. For equipment and maintenance, they gave them two and a quarter. Dispatchers and managers, they gave them two and three quarters, right? They're saying your weekly average bring home, it doesn't say whether this is for city drivers or line haul drivers, but it is $1,194 per week, okay? So let's go with the first review right off the rip as a current employee, October 2022, doing the line haul, been here a year and two weeks. Now I've had worse jobs. First year was a little iffy. So I guess I got the two weeks are better. Um, pros, most money I've ever made since driving in 96. Cons, long hours and crap vacation time. That's the second time we've heard about the vacation time, right? Um, so, for home time, he gave him five stars. Equipment and maintenance, he gave him five stars. Dispatchers and managers, he gave him five stars, okay? Now, we have, this one is September 2022. The former employee gave him one star. Uh, I think I read this one somewhere else, too. Anyways, he applied online for a shuttle driver position. When he went to his interview, they said that there was no uh, line haul positions available that he could be a city driver. He tried city driver for one day and said that that wasn't for him and he quit. I guess a week later, there was another ad online saying that they needed a shuttle driver. That was the gist of that. And uh, he's saying the cons are lying about what the job is before someone even steps on the property. Okay. He wasn't there long enough to list any pros. So we have... Uh, another current employee from April 2022 says, we're going to start pay is below standards. We see there's the pay again. Even if you get your hazmat, you won't get a raise. Expect your paychecks to be missing hours. It says he has pictures of his hours of service logs, but they don't pay for that. No overtime pay. It's all straight time. Now that's a big red flag right there. You got, for anything over 40, they don't pay overtime. They don't pay time and a half. It's all straight time. Uh, he gave them one star for home time, one star for equipment and maintenance. Again, uh, dispatchers gave them three stars. And that one's from 2019. So we're just not even gonna read it because he gave them one star period. That's it. Um, so, as I was doing research for Central Transport, the terminal here closest to me is in North Jackson, which is about 15 minutes away. And their starting pay is $23.50 an hour. Now, like they said, there's no overtime pay. So anything over 50 or over 40 is still $23.50 an hour. Where I work at currently, I make $23 an hour. Anything over 40 is time and a half. So I'm up in the 30s right there. It wouldn't make sense for me to leave where I'm at now to go to Central Transport for an extra 50 cent per hour. It, actually, I would end up making less. Um, not to mention, well, I mean, I, I would get weekends off. Right now, I work Saturdays. I work, I work Tuesday through Saturday. But if I was to work, say, Wednesday through Sunday, my pay would be $25 an hour. If I were to 
go to the night shift but keep my same schedule, which is Tuesday through Saturday, I, I make $24 an hour. If I stay on, if I go to the night shift and I work Wednesday through Sunday, I make $26 an hour. So I can actually make more, way more money at my company than I can at Central Transport, right? Um, and like I said, my job is really chill. It's really relaxed. For them to not be paying, for, for look, I'm so choked up, I can barely even talk. So tongue tied, because I just can't believe this is an LTO company that pays that little when you have XPO Logistics in the same area that pays their drivers $31 an hour to start. And you get time and a half after 40. When I was at USF Holland, they paid their drivers $27 an hour to start, plus time and a half after 40. So I don't know what's going on with Central Transport uh, and why anybody would actually want to drive there when you have these other options around here. XPO Logistics just not hiring at the moment. I, if, when they do start hiring for this one out here, I will try my best to get in there. But actually, I'm looking at a uh, fuel hauling positions right now, cross it. Um, I thought about sheets, but the, their closest terminal is 45 minutes away from me. It's even longer in the snow. And right now, we're in the middle of fourth winter here in Ohio. I don't know when winter's going to end. So, but with all that being said, I just wanted to bring out this quick video and tell you guys about Central Transport, my thoughts on them. If you're thinking about going there, hey, give it a try. I'm not saying don't. Find out for yourself, you know, get your own experience. That's all these are. These are just opinions right here, right? Uh, go and go inform your own opinions on the company. Give me some feedback. Let me know how it's going for you or how it went for you. Anybody has anything to say about what I said about Central Transport or that can add or take away from it? Let me know down in the comments section. But for now, it's your boy, Charlie Truckers Chip. You know I got to turn up the volume. I'm about to here. Peace.